Hi guys, I'm Danny 702 and welcome to Hollywood Studios. It's a Hollywood Studios day. Actually, it's a Hollywood Studios couple of hours. It's about 4.30 right now. The park closes at 8 o'clock, but I'm not gonna be here that late. Maybe we'll leave around 7, 7.30. So we've got about two, three hours to be here. I haven't been here in such a long time. It's been very hard to grab a reservation for this park. Actually, it's been very hard to get a reservation at any of the parks for the rest of the month of May. It's about to get very, very hot. Today is like the last day where temperatures are pretty normal until November. <laughs> I wanted to come out, enjoy the day. It's been kind of a long week for me. I really want to get on a couple of rides. It looks like we've made perfect timing as soon as we are walking in. We've got a couple of characters greeting us. Hello. And I have yet to come to the park since they have dropped the mask mandate for outdoors here in Orange County and here at Disney World too. And boy, oh boy, does it feel very strange. I really, really want to get on Mickey's Runaway. I really hope that we can do Tower and maybe one more ride out. Actually, maybe we'll do four rides today. I don't know, but we got to pick up the pace. Let's go. And a 25 minute wait. Oh, heck yes. There's part of the line that basically is like the extended queue. When you're in that section of the ride, the mask is optional. But when you enter the real section of the line, or whether it's indoors or outdoors, that is where you have to wear your mask. And of course, indoors anywhere, it's gonna be mandatory. sitting around the 50 to 30 minutes depending on what ride. Not too bad at all considering it was completely full. All the reservations were taken up until about 3 o'clock when I was able to grab one. Now it's time to head on over to one of my favorites, Tower of Terror. It's very weird how normal but also how awkward it feels to be walking around without my mask on. It's a very strange feeling. It's like really nice to have the breeze in your face but just also just Awkward. The tower is showing a 25 minute wait at this time. I am noticing that they are keeping the distance markers for now at the six feet, unlike over at Universal where it's down to three feet. I believe that's going to change very, very soon as they keep upping capacity. I personally am going to miss the space. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but I kind of miss the pre shows. It definitely sets the tone for the ride. And it's funny because before, when you would go through the pre shows, at least for me, I would always think, yeah, 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 okay, I know, speed it up, let's go, I know what's gonna happen. <laughs> but now that we don't have, or at least that we haven't had them for such a long time, I miss them. Jeez. 
but I feel like I needed that ride today. <laughs> That's almost all I wanted to do was get on tower today. I just noticed this seasonal beverage over here at Joffrey's called the Game Changer cold brew coffee with a shot of espresso and then Irish cream syrup and light cream. Do you guys think it's kind of like the Irish cream cold brew at Starbucks? Because that is no longer its season over there and you know that is my absolute favorite Starbucks drink pretty much ever. Wow, I might have to try this. It's too late to try it today but sometime soon. This is still one of my favorite areas of Hollywood Studios. I just love old Hollywood, even with Galaxy's Edge in here, even with Toy Story World or Toy Story Land. This is still my favorite. I head over to Toy Story Land where we're not doing Slinky Dog. You would think we're gonna do Slinky Dog. Maybe, quite possibly maybe, but there's another ride in here that I absolutely love. So maybe this will be your extra fourth. Well, look at the wait times. This is usually the longest line in all of the park. 50 minutes. So that would basically take up the rest of the time and then we would have to leave. And I might skip Slinky Dog today. Yeah, we'll, we'll skip, we'll, we'll save it for another time. I'm heading towards the one I wanna get on. Aliens Rolling Saucers. I absolutely love this ride. And only a 15 minute wait for Swirling Saucers. One five. Actually, it's definitely gonna be less than that. Probably about five minutes. The class. I love this ride. so much it's so simple yet it's so much fun sometimes you get a crazy alien driver and you're being tossed and twisted and turned sometimes you get a real bumpy ride like today we're heading into Batu Galaxy's Edge maybe we'll do Smuggler's Run I only saw a 30 minute wait right now Batu East as some people will call it hey look there's Chewie hello there and there's Ray looking beautiful as always Okay, as my fourth ride, I think we've definitely got to do Smugglers because it is showing a 20 minute wait. Uh, and I haven't been on this in quite a while. Look who I stumbled upon. Hello. Browsing Batu East. Browsing Batu. I was seeing what's new, what's new? in Batu. What's new in Batu? I'm pointing that phrase as of today, my <laughs> I'm saying it a hundred times. That is a good one. So what is new at that too? I'm not gonna give it away. Oh yeah, you gotta head over to his All video. On here. That's true. If you wanna see what's new in that too. What's new in <laughs> that too. Then you head over to Adam the Woo. I gotta get down here. Get down. <laughs> I know. <laughs> there, there, there we go. No, no, I still have the air on the top of your head. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, popcorn. Has that always been there? Maybe I'm just hungry. It is about dinner time. I am looking for the flight professionals. You can buy a bear on me. But without the bunting on your head, it's a record that's a few of you. This droid looks like he's smiling. Look, he's got like teeth. You know, I have never gotten a picture here before. Every time I come in here, they basically call us in to get on the ride almost right away. I don't even know if you're allowed to take a picture of it right now. And the answer is no, we're being called. <laughs> Two seconds we were up here, no picture. They're the engineers. So I think they aren't sitting the middle row, but they are seating the first row for two pilots with two So yeah, no gunners. We are the engineers all the way in the back and then they have two pilots. They do still have push the glass the here. Push the glass. Push the glass. Push the glass. Push the Just as I dropped. 
Uh, 66%. That's not good. No, terrible. <laughs> I was so oh my goodness, Kylo Ren must be about to take off because this thing is crazy loud right now. volume cranked up. Bye bye Kylo Ren. All right he's not going anywhere. It's been a while since I've been back here during quote unquote closing hours. So this is definitely one of the best places to be during the closing time. So that's when the lightsabers come out and the droids come out. It's a whole different vibe from nighttime to daytime even though it's technically still light out. And I'm here late enough to see the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway all lit up. Oh, Neon, how I miss you. I freaking love this sign. And that'll do it for today. It was a totally random trip to Hollywood Studios. Thanks so much for joining me. I had a really fun time going on all these rides, enjoying the nice, fresh air. Oh, yeah, feel that breeze. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Love ya. Peace. All the glorious Neon. It's crazy how much I miss this site. Truly just miss Las Vegas. I miss Neon and I miss Las Vegas so much. Uh, hopefully soon we'll get back out there.